This story comes to us from cbsnews.com. A former suburban New York police chief who once led the Gilgo Beach killings investigation and later he went to prison for beating a suspect. Well, he's been arrested again. This time, authorities say he attempted to engage in sex with an undercover ranger at a Long Island park. He's a squirrel trying to get a nut. You know what I mean? James Burke, Suffolk County Police Chief from 2012 to 2015, was arrested around 10.15 a.m. at Vietnam Veterans Memorial Park in Farmingville after exposing himself to the ranger and saying he was interested in oral sex, according to the arrest report obtained by AP News. Um, Burke, 58, then attempted to leverage his status as a former law enforcement official to get out of the arrest, which is part of a targeted operation spurred by complaints about people soliciting sex in the park. And that was according to a news conference. As he was being taken into custody, Burke asked the Rangers if they knew who he was and told them that getting arrested would be a public humiliation for him. Sergeant Brian Quattrini said, Quattrini. The Ranger who arrested Burke did not recognize him. <laughs> you know who I am? I had no idea. Burke is charged with offering a sex act, public lewdness, indecent exposure, and criminal solicitation, Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison said. Now, Burke was taken to a police station for processing, and information on his arraignment isn't immediately available. And then they give you, of course, some more information regarding his lawyer who died last year. Um, and they go through some other things in arrest. In 2016, they, Christopher Loeb was the, apparently the guy he uh, beat that he went to prison for. At any rate, hey, you know, he'd have been better off just staying home and, I don't know, watching some internet. I don't know what to say, man, this dude. Like I said, he's just a squirrel trying to get a nut.